among the helix turn helix transcription factors. There is a large family which are known as the homeodomain transcription factors, so called because they share a region of about 60 amino acids, which is highly conserved. This area is known as the homeodomain, and thus all proteins which have it uh, are referred to as homeodomain transcription factors. There are about 2,000 of these known in eukaryotes, and mammals uh, such as uh, humans may possess almost almost 200 of these in their genome. Homeodomain genes are very interesting. Uh, first of all, these are among the master switches. In other words, when an embryo is developing and differentiating its generalized cells into the specialized cells which they will, they will become, homeodomain uh, genes are critical. Secondly, there are critical evolutionary aspects as well. It turns out that ancestral invertebrates had homeodomains which uh, allowed them to develop their complexity. The later eukaryotes, animals as distant as the C. elegans, nematodes, uh, fruit flies, and humans, modified these ancestral uh, proteins in order uh, to develop their uh, specific uh, lineage uh, proteins. Uh, many of these are still so similar that one can substitute for another. So even though humans do not have uh, wings, obviously, uh, the human genes, uh, which are homologous to Apteris, can substitute for mutated Apteris proteins in flies to return normal genes there. Mutant mammals and mutant fruit flies can exchange uh, the wild type orthodentical or OTX proteins and restore normal function. So despite the fact that humans and flies are so distantly related, their proteins can often um, are, are still similar enough uh, to retain a function in the other organisms. Now, uh, obviously, human brains are not fruit fly brains, human eyes are not fruit fly uh, eyes, uh, human limbs are not fruit fly limbs, etc. However, we use many of the same genes uh, to develop the human complexity as flies use to develop their complexity. So even though limbs are different, both humans and uh, flies use tail gene homologs, T-A-L-E, gene homologs, which are homeodomains, to develop these limbs. Even though the eyes are different, both humans and fruit flies use genes belonging to the Six family, the Pax family, the bar-like family, in order to develop their eyes. Even though um, our early development is uh, different. One of the first genes expressed in a fly is bicoid. One of the first genes expressed in human embryos during gastrulation is goosecoid. This suggests that there have been ancestral developmental mechanisms which have been conserved across organisms which are so widely different as humans and flies. Uh, there is no reason for this if evolution is not true. These uh, genes do not have to be shared. But nevertheless, uh, it seems that uh, our ancestors had one set of developmental mechanisms and all descendants of them have simply modified those mechanisms in order to become the organisms that they are, be it as diverse as humans and flies.